if at any point in time you have started preparing for any test, you would have seen this concept of percentile that exists. Now what exactly is percentile and how do we use this concept of percentile or how do we achieve 100 percentile at a test is basically what this video will focus on. Now what exactly is percentile? Now percentile is nothing but your relative standing in a population. So it is different from percentage in the aspect that in percentage we are only looking at your performance at a particular test. But in terms of percentile, we are looking at your relative standing in terms of the entire population. So let's say for example, out of 100 people who appear for a test, you have scored more marks than 90 people. Then we can say that you are a 90th percentiler because you have outscored 90 people out of 100. So because you have defeated 90% of the test taking population, you become a 90th percentile. So in simpler words, it is the percentage of students whom one would have outscored. Now, if I'm looking at people whom you have outscored, is 100 percentile a myth? Because if I'm saying that you are a 100 percentiler, then it basically means that you have outscored 100 percent of the test taking population. But you can't do that because that would mean that you have outscored yourself as well. And that is basically where the paradox lies. So is 100 percentile a myth? Not really because we have this concept of rounding off of decimals. So if you have had a look at the CAT scorecard, you will see that at the scorecard or inside the scorecard, there are these numbers that are present, there are these percentiles that are present at a section level. And these percentiles have two significant digits after the decimal. So you would see percentiles which will say 98.45, 99.92, 56.37, so there will be two digits after the decimal. Now how exactly do they arrive at those two digits after the decimal? So what they will do is they will round off the other digits that are there. So let's say for example someone gets a 99.994 percentile then that will get rounded down to 99.99 percentile because it is closer to 99.99 compared to 100. Whereas if someone has scored a 99.995 or above then those numbers will get rounded up to 100 percentile because they are closer to 100 than to a 99.99. And that is basically why a 100 percentile exists and it's not a myth, it's just a rounding off of decimals. Now, the third important thing is how do you get a 100 percentile at the CAT? Now, this is a question that a lot of people want quick answers to, but unfortunately, they don't exist. There are a few practices that you should be following to improve your chances of getting a 100 percentile though. There should be no weak topics or no weak areas or no weak sections. So people who are 100 percentilers will be good at each and every section. They will be getting 99 plus percentile at each of these sections which will help them get a 100 percentile overall. In fact, there are some people who end up getting a 100 percentile in at least one of the sections as well. So you should have no weak areas, you should have no weak topics, you should have no weak sections. The second thing is these people will take all their SIM cards in a proper exam setting. There will be no random breaks in between, no munchies that will be present, no stopping the window, closing the test, getting rid of the system because you are not doing well at a particular section. So all those things will not be there. All these SIM cards should be taken in a proper exam setting for your chances of getting a 100 percentile to improve. Also, these people will analyze their SIM cards thoroughly. You have to know what exactly is your performance like at each of the SIM cards that you take and you should have a very clear idea of how do you improve going from one SIM card to the other. Now, if you do keep on doing that consistently, I am sure that you will improve and you will end up doing a very good job come the actual test. And also, if you look at the maximum marks that one can score when it comes to a particular test, then you will see that the toppers will roughly have 70 to 75 percent of the overall marks that exist and that's basically how these people will end up topping a particular test. So if you look at the scores that correspond to the 100 percentile at each of the years that CAT has taken place, then you will see that that number will be close to a 70 to 75 percentage and that is essentially the number of marks that you have to achieve. So that is basically what the concept of percentile is and how exactly do you go about taking SIM cards, analyzing them and projecting your score towards a 100. 
Wish you all the best with your preparation.